Hi, I'm Drew Blair. The FDA is set to hold more talks this week on COVID-19 booster shots. The agency's advisory panel last week is calling for boosters initially to be limited to people who are 65 and older and those considered high risk. The recommendation is narrower than what the Biden administration has called to give a booster shot to all Americans. The CDC has the final say on this with boosters and is set to meet about the issue this week as well. Meanwhile, drug maker Pfizer announced this morning that its shot works for kids who are 5 to 11 years old. The company says it plans to seek authorization for that age group soon. The vaccine, as you know, is already available for anyone who is 12 years and older. Pfizer says it studied a lower dose of the two-dose vaccine in more than 2,000 kindergartners and elementary school aged kids. Scientists report that the kids developed antibody levels that were similar to teenagers and young adults. Hi, I'm Kylie Conway. This morning, police are investigating how someone was hit and critically injured by a car. They say that the person was walking. This was at 86th Street and Michigan Road last night. They say that the person who hit the person uh, stayed there at the scene and is cooperating with police, but right now we don't know uh, the victim's name, um, gender, or much other detail. Certainly things that we're working to learn this morning. And also police are investigating uh, a person found dead. This is on the east side on Moore Street. Uh, police say that they are investigating this as a homicide. Right now they uh, haven't mentioned who they believe the suspect could be or any circumstances surrounding this, but we're learning to get more information here, including the name and potentially any of the suspect information. So uh, IMPD does say that this is the city's first homicide in two weeks. I'm Scott Sander. A shootout in southwestern Indiana leaves a sheriff's deputy wounded. This happened in Posey County, New Harmony area over the weekend. Authorities say that deputies got into a shootout with a man at his home. He fired, they fired back. The deputy is rather severely wounded. The homeowner is as well, but we don't have an update on his condition. Colts say Carson Wentz will go through an MRI today on the ankle that he twisted near the end of the loss to the Rams on Sunday. If you saw it, it was clear he was in pain. Question is, will it keep him out of games going forward? If it does, we may have gotten a glimpse of the next starter in the last couple of uh, series as the Colts tried to drive for a win. Jacob Eason filled in uh, rather fruitless final drives.